It's easy to get so you got Hell it's yeah. Easy. It's the easiest no thing in the world to do. All right, man, I'm, I'm done. I ain't going. Motivation. The internal or external force that drives a person to take action, achieve a goal, fulfill a need, or satisfy a desire. Feeling motivated is one of the most powerful emotions that you can experience. It's like a fire burning inside, fueling your engine of perseverance. When you're in that zone, it feels like you can do anything, like you're powered by endless energy. But nothing in this world is endless, and nothing lasts forever. So what do you do when that motivation runs out? At some point in our lives, we've all experienced motivation, whether it's driven by external or internal sources. While motivation can be great for getting us started, it's often unreliable in the long run due to its temporary nature. This is because motivation is closely tied to our emotions, which naturally fluctuate. Emotional highs and lows are a part of life, and they can greatly influence how motivated we feel on any given day. Positive emotions like excitement, joy, or curiosity can spark an initial surge of motivation, making it easy to dive into new projects or goals. The novelty and optimism of a new idea drive us forward, giving us the energy to tackle those new challenges. However, as the emotional highs start to fade or we face any obstacles, motivation can start to diminish. Negative emotions like doubt, fear, or boredom quickly start to drain our enthusiasm and creep up on us. A bad mood or stressful situation can make a once exciting task feel tedious or overwhelming. Recognizing these emotional shifts is key. It's important to be aware of when motivation starts to dwindle so you can address it quickly before you start to veer off your own course. One of the first clues that your motivation is starting to fade is a noticeable decline in enthusiasm or energy. Tasks that once excited you now feel like chores. The sense of passion that initially drove you forward starts to slip away, and instead of jumping right into action on your projects, procrastination or avoidance becomes your go-to response. This starts to happen when projects that used to feel manageable begin to seem overwhelming, and instead of making progress, you might find yourself distracted by trivial activities, like scrolling through social media or focusing on minor tasks that don't really move the needle forward. This pattern of avoidance can compound over time. As the work piles up, it feels more and more difficult to regain momentum. That sense of being overwhelmed makes it easy to feel stuck, and when you're stuck, it's harder to take that first step to get back on track. In these moments, you might start doubting your goals, questioning whether the objectives you set are meaningful or if they align with your current priorities. The spark that once fueled you fades, and instead of excitement, you're left with doubt. These emotions usually stem from a combination of factors, like feeling overworked, discouraged by a lack of visible progress, or struggling to balance too many commitments at one time. When these feelings start to dominate, they cloud your ability to stay motivated, making it difficult to see a way forward. It can feel like the more you try, the less you accomplish, and soon hopelessness starts to creep in. But the good news is, once you recognize these signs, you're in a position to take action. The key is understanding these emotional shifts are temporary and don't dictate your progress. Instead of relying on feelings and motivation to carry you through your goals, you can turn to clarity and direction to regain control. Many people think that they lack motivation when what they really lack is clarity. They think that they need to get more motivated, that they need willpower in order to execute on a habit. If I just felt like writing, if I just felt like meditating, if I felt like working out, then I would do it. But in fact, they don't have a plan for it, and so they wake up each day thinking, I wonder if I'll feel motivated to write today. I wonder if I'll feel motivated to work out today. But instead, you can take the decision-making out of it by explicitly stating when, where, and how you want to implement the habit. When motivation fades, the antidote is clarity. Gaining a clear understanding of what you're working toward, and more importantly, why you're working towards it, helps you push through emotional slumps. James Clear, in his book Atomic Habits, emphasizes that while motivation is important, it's unreliable for long-term success. Instead, he encourages focusing on systems rather than goals. This is because systems give you a clear path to follow, even when motivation is nowhere to be found. One of the key ways to maintain clarity is to break your long-term goals into smaller, actionable steps. For example, 
If your goal is to write a book, focusing on completing the whole manuscript can become overwhelming. But if you shift your attention to just writing 200 words a day, it becomes much more manageable. This small, consistent action builds momentum. Even on days when you don't feel like writing at all, over time, these daily habits accumulate into significant progress. However, clarity isn't just about breaking things down. It's also about understanding the deeper why behind your efforts. When you know why you're pursuing a goal, it gives you a sense of purpose that can carry you through tough times. James Clear refers to this concept as identity-based habits, where your focus shifts from just achieving a particular outcome to becoming the type of person who achieves that outcome. For instance, let's say your goal is to become a successful artist. Instead of measuring your progress by completing a masterpiece, focus on becoming someone who creates consistently. Each sketch, painting, or creative session reinforces that identity, regardless of how motivated you feel. Even on days when you're not inspired to create, the habit of showing up is what keeps you moving forward. By focusing on who you want to become rather than just what you want to achieve, you gain clarity and a deeper connection to your work and to yourself. Another strategy that Clear suggests in Atomic Habits is habit stacking, which is the process of linking a new habit into an existing one. This can help you maintain clarity and consistency while your motivation may be fading. For example, if you're struggling to stick to a daily reading routine, you might tie the habit of reading to something you already do every day, like drinking your morning coffee. Over time, the two actions become linked, making it easier to build new habits because they piggyback off of ones that are already established. Clarity also extends to your environment. If your workspace is cluttered or full of distractions, staying focused becomes an uphill battle. Motivation can quickly evaporate when you're surrounded by things that pull your attention in different directions. On the other hand, a clean, well-organized space can serve as a visual cue that prompts you to engage with the tasks that are set in front of you. An example of this is if you're an artist. Keeping your sketchbook or supplies within easy and visible reach can serve as a reminder to create, even when you're not feeling particularly driven to. By setting up your environment to support your goals, you reduce friction and make it easier for you to follow through. When you put these strategies into practice, you create a system that can carry you through the ups and downs of motivation. Even when your energy dips, these creative structures can keep you on track and ensure that you're making progress, no matter how you feel on any given day. This kind of clarity doesn't just get you through the tough days, it also makes your overall journey more enjoyable because you're no longer dependent on motivation alone to move you forward. Motivation may come and go, but by recognizing when it's fading and using clarity to guide your actions, you can stay on course even when the initial fire burns out. The emotional ups and downs of life are inevitable, but they don't have to derail your progress. By gaining clarity on your goals, breaking them down into manageable steps, and creating systems that support who you want to become, you set yourself up for long-term success. When you focus on clear processes rather than fluctuating feelings, you're not just chasing fleeting bursts of inspiration, you're building a sustainable path forward. And when you rely on solid foundational habits, routines, and clear intentions, you're able to push through even the toughest days. So the next time you feel your motivation starting to dip, remember, it's not about waiting for the fire to reignite, it's about having the clarity to keep moving forward one step at a time. Consistency beats motivation, clarity creates consistency, and establishing both is key to understanding your vision. As always, if you made it this far into the video, we'd like to say thank you. If you like what you see, you can always leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It's a free and easy way to support us. If you want to keep up with anything that we're doing, follow us on Instagram at Stop Hating Make Friends. And again, thank you. Now enjoy some fire beats.